Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Does it mean that Uhuru Mege Kenyatta is likely betraying Raila Amolo Odinga? As per what we have seen today, is eventually whatever is likely to come. I want to react towards a certain fake news. Fake news. And I want you to understand. We see a comment in the comment section. I say my real news. I say my fake news. To Namiwa, a certain group, Kwamba Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, is endorsing Jakaya Kikwete, the former president of Tanzania. On the this side, Raila Dinga declared his interest. There is a kind of circulation of news here that I want to understand. Can Uhuru Mege Kenyatta support another candidate outside the country than Raila Dinga? Can it be possible? Yes, it is possible. And you can't do anything. He is a human being. He has his own decisions. But at the same time, we are talking about the possibility of Uhuru Kenyatta betraying Raila Odinga. What if Uhuru Kenyatta is going to support Jakaya Kikwete? Then literally, number one, is going to expose Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. Why? There are similar team. Some individuals like Babu Wino earlier on said, that Uhuru Kenyatta betrayed Raila Odinga. Because he was having the system, he was the president, he could have not allowed Uhuru William Ruto to rig election, or rather, to hand over. That is what Baba Wino said. The polls were consistently talking about Baba winning elections. Okay? Yes. Then there comes the deep state. <laughs> On Night we went for elections. Tenth, I talked to Baba. I called Baba, told Baba that I'm seeing we are losing elections. We are losing elections. But because Baba was also told that everything is fine, Baba told me that everything is fine. We will not lose these elections. Just be confident, do not panic. We are winning elections. But through my sources, I had received information that we are going to lose elections on 10th of August. Then after that, we are at Bomas. At Bomas, tactfully, when Ruto's people were losing elections, they were conceding defeat. Mm. How fast did they know? <laughs> they were just trying to send signals that, you know, our people are conceding, therefore you as Baba prepare to concede. See. They had already known the outcome of these results. But let me ask you, Murid, in this country, election was done on 9th of August. By midnight, the president, the sitting president must know who is the president. How? Because we stop voting at 6 p.m., counting starts at 6.30, mm. and we are counting 700 ballot papers per polling station. Therefore, by 8 p.m., all 700 ballot papers are counted. And in every polling station, every polling center, first of all, every polling station, there's a policeman. Belongs to the government. Every polling center, there is an NIS person that reports the results to the DCC. DCC reports to the regional, regional commission. Regional commission. Regional Commissioner reports to Kibicho. Kibicho reports to Matiani, Matiani to President, or Kibicho direct to President. Therefore, by 9 p.m., all results in this nation, because we start by counting the presidential ballot papers. So by midnight, the President Uhuru Kenyatta had known who won elections. Therefore, if Raila was defeated in quotes, we could still do something. <laughs> Honestly, we had enough time. 
if Raila won, we could still protect his votes. Okay? Then intentionally, Ruto is leading as power screens in the TVs. Then when Baba took over, when Baba was ahead of Ruto, then screens went off. No, no streaming of those results. So what was being done at that time? Is it not engineering or doc doc doctoring those those results? But you're but you're saying that by tenth, you would already known that Ruto will win this election. I was so being the told, doctoring coming in. I was being told. I, I did not know. I was informed that elections are going to be done to be in favor of Ruto. I have my sources. So you still believe Raila won this election? I'm telling you the truth. Raila won elections. I'm telling you the truth. By how many votes? Raila won elections. The only problem is that we will not we would not know now because of the doctoring that that took place. You see, I cannot say with certainty how many votes, but Raila won elections. Because election is a process. It is a process, both the qualitative and the quantitative. But now, when Babu Wino said those uh, statements, some Kenyans said that Babu Wino was lying. But the question is, Raido Dinga is the party leader of Azimio. Just last week, Raido Dinga declared his interest towards this seat of African Union Commission, Chairperson. We are being told that Uhuru, Asha Kutana na Yoweri Museveni, Ale Kutana na Samia Sulu na Ata Jana, and Uhuru Kenyatta is busy engineering a candidate against Raila Odinga. The expectations are, we are told, that close allies of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, they are regretting why Raila Odinga declared his interest while they thought like it was Uhuru Mege Kenyatta who was going for this seat. At the same time, as he told you here, you might see it like something that is easy. Remember, Raila Odinga must have a block in East Africa, East African community. We are having Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Congo, Kenya, Somalia. But if they are not going to ride behind Raila Odinga and there are some countries in East African bloc, they are going to have their own candidate being engineered by Uru Kenyatta and Samia Suru. Is Uru Kenyatta betraying Raila Odinga or not? Is he exposing himself the way he planned William Ruto to be the president? Because even if Uru Kenyatta is showing his in satisfaction and it's not okay with the leadership of William Ruto because even last we had this statement from Nyeri in a certain body Uru Kenyatta saying at driver akiendesha gari na ye kazi yake anatumia sana side mirror kuna wezakana wa kupeleka gari kwa mstuni William or rather Uru Kenyatta can decide to attack William Ruto the way he can. But these people are talking. You know, they are talking. But remember, there's something fishy cooking in between Uhuru Kenyatta and Samia Sulu. Because the possibilities are they are fronting Jakaya Kikwete, though I've not seen Jakaya Kikwete declaring his candidature. But I want to tell you if possibility are, and you saw Jakaya Kikwete declaring his candidature, Take from me, it is a movement that is being engineered by Uhuru Kenyatta and Samia Sulu. And the reason behind it is because some people are feeling like it could have been Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. So for me, if truly Uhuru Mege Kenyatta will support another candidate outside the country, then literally is sabotaging, betraying Raila Murudinga. Not only in this position, but he had already betrayed Raila Odinga in the last general election, even despite of showing his interest, even if showing his interest and even showing an idea of campaigning for Raila Odinga, I'm telling you the truth. 
you will be triggered by Raylu Dinga and you will, he will expose himself the way he did in the last general election. Because truly, if Uru Kenyatta wanted Raila Odinga to be the president, today as we speak, William Ruto could have not been the president today. Today, and the president. So we are just watching the space. Is there a possibility? Because now we are receiving more fake news. In the fake news here, standard. Atujaona maali uhuru ameongea. Na tujaona maali jakaya kikweta ameongea. Na jakaya kikweta kikuja kutangaza kwamba anaenda kusumamu. I want you to know it is Uhuru Kenyatta and Samia Suru engineering that candidate. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.